Good morning, Dolly sisters. Do I have a treat for you? A box opening, but a different kind of box opening. I don't want to spoil it, <clears throat> so I'm going to get right to it. But first, I'm going to show you a couple things. I got this from eBay. It's flannel and it's Cat and Jack. And I got it for my Benjamin sculpt. But I realized I think I should wash it and set the color so it doesn't transfer to my baby or put a long sleeve onesie under it. So, okay, here's another thing I want to show you guys. I'm gonna get this so you can see it. I was looking all over for this stuff and I realized that it was in a trunk next to my bed that was, belongs to my husband. This is my artist book. I know you can see the ring light in there. But this is my artist book that says Linda's Glass Garden. And that was when I used to paint glassware and ship it all over the world. This was my website. I have pictures taken right off my website. Um, I, hope, I hope you're gonna be able to see this. That ring light is gonna, let me see if I shut the ring light off. If you guys can see it. Yeah, not really. But this was my website. This is a picture of my glassware that I blew up and put as my background. And here is the plate that I paint, a uh, cake plate I painted. And I have put I wouldn't even believe I built this website. I used Yahoo to build this website and it was super easy, but it says, we now have a variety of individual and unique earrings and necklaces sets handcrafted by Linda. We take special pride in custom jewelry. You can't find this custom look at most stores and our prices are reasonable. Why wear what everyone else has when you can have something unique and different? I used to put all my earrings in a basket and I would go around town to the businesses and sell earrings. I'd make like 40 bucks in an hour. And then it says, be jeweled, be dazzled. It's all about the bling. Our aim, our aim is to make your life sparkle whether it be with hand-painted glassware for your home or dazzling jewelry for yourself. We hand paint cake plates, iced tea sets, wine glasses, wedding flutes, salt and pepper shakers, and much more. If you currently do not see what you are looking for in hand-painted glassware on our webpage, please feel free to email me with your request. I give spe special attention to custom orders, colors of your choice. I prefer to use my creative creativity in picking the design, but we'll discuss with you what you would like and see if I can accommodate your wishes. As an artist, I do my best to make every piece unique and special. And then I'm just talking about my earrings and stuff, but here's what I'm gonna show you. Oh, that stupid light. Probably be better if I took these out. See, I made glassware with chili peppers on it. Those are my earrings. More glassware with roses on it. A necklace and earring set. More glassware with pansies. An iced tea set with roses. 
more earrings and my salt and pepper shakers. And let's see. I hope this is interesting to you. I did this many, many years ago. I did plates, hand painted plates, vases. Somebody gave me all these plates with gold trim. I did those. I did, yeah, I did all kinds of things. Here is a tulip design I did. Uh, here is a chili pepper design I did with turquoise and red. There's the last picture. The pictures really don't do it justice, but you get the idea. I did vinegar, holders. Maybe I can find a bigger picture to show. Oh, these are all bigger pictures. And these are all my earrings. This is it this is uh, from my directly from my web page so I have like a whole bunch of earrings um, this is a set that I made which would probably be really popular today dragonfly necklace uh, this is another set I made I really enjoyed doing it while I did. These are just all earring and necklace sets. My mother got into it and she taught me how to do it. So I'm gonna set that aside, put it back together later. And we're gonna have a little box opening here. I've been looking everywhere for this stuff. And my husband and I were sitting and talking this morning and I was like, I wonder if it could be in that trunk next to your bed because that trunk didn't have very much stuff in it. And I thought, well, that would be a really safe place. So I don't know if this is a vintage blanket or I got it from somebody. It's got ducks, ducks, chickens, chickens on it. Maybe Lisa would know. But this is all vintage. It's 68 years old, some of it. My, my son was born premature. So I will turn the light back on and see if that helps. My son was born premature. He was five pounds, five ounces when I brought him home. This is a little yellow terry cloth sleeper and it should be, I think I bought this at Nordstrom's or one of those fancy stores. They were the only ones that had creamy stuff. That's the brand Allegheny Creamy and this was big on him when I got it. That was the only thing that came close. And this is one of his sleepers, blue one. I can't read the tag on it, but this is my favorite. It's kind of yellow, but it used to be white. It's just a little cotton jacket that actually they had Velcro back then. You put it up and you put the Velcro on it. I don't think I ever took pictures of him in that. I want to hide this from you still. This is my baby gown. So it's almost 69 years old. My grandmother made it out of flannel. This is when we used those regular snaps. 
She embroidered flowers on it. It's got smocking, which I used to do a lot of on my kids' clothes. And I may put that on a baby for a video. Um, okay, here's the icing on the cake. I found my dolls that my grandma made. And I put them together and made the clothes for them. These are called Bilo dolls. It is ceramic. It's got one little chip there. It is ceramic. This represented my little boy. And I had made this hat, but it needs elastic in it. So he looked like a little Dutch boy. And the clothes, I can probably get the clothes off. They got stains on them. But, so that was my little boy. And this one I made for my little girl. And my grandma hand painted these and fired them. Um, I think this one's bald, but I made all the clothes. And these clothes, these fabrics are made, or these clothes are made out of fabrics that I had left over from my daughter. So maybe someday my kids will want those. So yeah, that's that. I found them. And all these vintage clothes. I wish I had more. I really wish I had saved more. But I didn't. I passed all of the clothes I made on to my girlfriend for her daughter. And she still talks about that to this day. This was made, I'm pretty sure, by my friend, my friend Tracy that passed away. It was made by her mother. And somewhere I have a green polyester patchwork quilt with appliques of yellow kittens that a dear friend of mine made who has passed away too. So that was kind of cool, you know? This stuff becomes more important to you as you get older. If you have younger kids, I highly recommend that you save your favorite pieces at least from their clothing. So I don't want to put that back in there. I got to wash it, but okay. Another thing I want to bring up guys is my secret giveaway. When I posted my secret giveaway, I didn't specify if it was United States or anywhere. It's anywhere. What I'm going to try to do is if you live in another country, I'm going to PayPal you some money to buy a new outfit. Um, that makes more sense because it will cost so much to mail an outfit. I mean, you have the option that if you want to pay for shipping, I can mail it to you, but I don't think it will be to your benefit. Um, it will probably be better if I just PayPal you some money and you can go to your favorite store and pick out an outfit. So that's how I'm gonna do that. So if some of you entered my secret giveaway and you did not participate in the requirements of, I didn't even really say subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. I didn't do that. It was a secret giveaway. And everybody that replied is my subscriber. So yeah, that secret giveaway has been up for a few days. And I think I'll probably close it next Friday and uh, give you guys some options about what would you like to choose from what I have or, or I will give you a brand new outfit that I just purchased. But being that you guys have different sized dolls, um, I can... I can do zero to three, I can do 12 months, I can do three to six. Um, 
I may even be able to find a newborn outfit that's brand new or gently used. So, yeah, that's that. So if you did not enter that because you lived in Canada or somewhere else, go back and put your name in there. Because I know Patricia, last time we tried to do gift cards and that did not work for either one of my friends in Canada and the UK. I don't know why, I used Amazon. So this time I wanna make sure you're included. So if you live in the UK or you live in Canada um, or, or anywhere else, just go to my secret giveaway and follow the directions. Um, as long as you have a PayPal account or Zelle or any way for me to send you money, it should work. So that is my share for today. And I think I covered everything. It is Wednesday, so I might try to do Walk With Me Wednesday later today with my umbrella stroller that I got and I think that about wraps it up so I will talk to you all later have a great day ladies